Just knowing that my mom wasn't in good condition uh, really made me sad and I didn't know what was going to happen, I, you know. In my mind I was thinking maybe she might die or something like that, so uh, when I got on the plane I was uh, just very depressed and shocked. What I was going through when I was depressed was that uh, when I went to school, I wasn't the same person. You know, I always was a goofy person, but uh, I wasn't as like I used to be. Um, I would act up, you know, argue with teachers, skip class, uh, get into fights. What I uh, uh, did to overcome my depression, I even uh, went to counseling. Uh, so that they can uh, help me with my problems so I can express myself more, occupying myself with things to do. Like, uh, I would play sports, like basketball, baseball, things like that. Uh, try to get myself into programs like uh, Free Spirit Media or uh, things after school to keep me busy so that I won't be, so I won't think about what had happened in the past. The lesson that I learned from my mom being sick was uh, that I should value what I have because when it's gone, you can't have it again. So uh, it's important that you take good care of it and you uh, really show appreciation for all uh, that you have. I identify as gay. Bisexual. I am a, a lesbian. LGBT rights are important because they are human. They are still the same and also they're just like us. They get treated different because of their lifestyles, but people don't realize it's not a lifestyle, it's their life. Just stop. Just stop. Stop, cause it ain't cool. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. It's not worth it. Just stop. Just stop, guys. It's dumb. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Fighting. I don't believe in fighting. Make love, not war. I took it like straight to the heart because I lost my like the two closest people that I'm like close to, my best friends. Ever asked me did I need counseling because I never like showed anyone my emotion or told anybody about how I was feeling. I kept everything inside. Still cry over there. It's like when the anniversary or their death come around or like I think about something that like I'm doing. I think about like how I was doing this with them. I remember it's like I still think about it and still wonder about them, like how they doing now. I know they still with me, they just not here. I'm coming out my shell more, I'm starting to go out and be friends with everybody. I was in elementary school when I got pregnant and I didn't want to be around. I was pushing everybody away. I was like rebelling. Friends and family, I was leaving them out of my life at the time. And I thought I was thinking about what they was going to say about me, judge me or whatever at the time. I feel that at first I feel like I made a mistake, but now I feel like I was blessed. I'm blessed to have babies. And now that I, I have more responsibility as other kids do. My friends, they feel like I'm somebody to look up to, cause they don't catch, they don't find too many teen moms that constantly go to school with good grades like I do. They feel like I'm, I'm doing good as a teen mother, cause most teen moms they drop out of school, they neglect their baby and stuff like that, and they look at me like. Wow, she really did something. She made a difference. Don't let rough situations stop your future. Do something with your future.